that's what I'm saying. Sorry, dear John. I do apologize, and um, I do apologize um, on our behalf. Um, but you know, we just want to have you updated. Um, Andrew, so if we can just quickly update, um, you know, your details, and then I'll be able to help you out from there, okay? Well, I'm, I'm just getting a heart attack just just on on, on what what I've already set up, and 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 it should have been taken care of. Someone have been should have been telling me because I'm a busy man. Yeah, I do apologize um, regarding that, but I'll, since you made contact with us, I'll be able to help you. So, um, what is your home address again? Sorry. It's zero seven B. Bar 16 Park Avenue, Odahu. Oh, okay. I'm running my business from there. Pardon? I'll just update that on our system, okay? Okay, well, I've got to go and look for this and spend another whole day looking, pulling things out to go and try and find where, where this parking fine went to. It went from a parking yeah. fine into court, and the court is supposed to be chasing me, not me chasing them. Yeah, it's 020-4085-1042. Please help yeah, me to, to straighten it out. Yeah, I will. I've just come back from North and I've come back and, 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 and I'm trying to update what's what, what my accounts. I'm, a, I'm running a biggest business in this country by myself. Go and have a look at me, what I'm trying to go through and do it on my own, on my benefit. I need all the money in my benefit to keep my business going right around the world. Right to Britain. Okay, do you have an email address at all? It's moaienergy at gmail.com. Sorry? Moai, M O A I, energy at gmail.com. M O A I? E N E R G Y, energy at gmail.com. That'll be the biggest company in this country before long. Take my word for it. Why do I have to go through a lot of trouble? That's my email address through all my business going on in Britain. If, if we need a contact, are we able to send you a text message or email? Text message. Or email. Yeah. One or the other. Cool. You're, you're receiving the benefit? Yes, I am. I'm on the gold card. Okay. Cool. So we'll update on your details. Um, why, isn't there, you the, why isn't it in the court system? It should have been there. Yeah, I do apologise. So we'll just update it there. Um, but... Uh, do you have the bank account number that the $15 is going to? Well, I've got to go back and find who this debit success claim out of who. That's the claim from the from the um, uh, Auckland City Council. I think that's what that is. That's all it says on my bank account and that, okay. that number, but it doesn't have any account. But it just got that and the $15 keeps coming out all the time. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put your fines on hold until tomorrow. You need to find out who that who you're making payments to or fifteen dollars because it's definitely not us. Oh. Okay, so try try find out who you're making those payments to, um, so you can cancel it and then just make contact with um, us tomorrow to set up an arrangement to pay your fines. Oh off, no, okay? this is, this is getting me getting me all screwed up. Oh. I always have my things going out automatic, but I, I, I'm, I'm so brassed off that I'll have to go back. I'll have to spend the whole flipping day, it might be longer, because I've got other things to do. I've got to try and find where this money is going to from when I, yeah. I first, so I set we'll it up properly. Until tomorrow, just make contact with us tomorrow or even today to set up an arrangement so we don't have to do oh. that enforcement action until okay? Okay. No, I, I, I only question where the money's gone, that's all. Yeah. Okay, thank you, John. You okay. have a lovely day. All right, bye. Bye. That's the court. They don't even have a record of my fine. My fucking fine. Bastards. I can't get over how this court is working in Auckland. You mean to say... They didn't have my updated address. They gave the old address for a parking fine that uh, was cost 40 bucks and it's blown out to $143.27. I made some arrangements to pay them 15 bucks a week and they haven't received any payment. They did nothing about it and they still have no contact details here where I am. They are really right out of touch.
okay, that's all I want to say with the video. I'm just getting back to myself and back from north and settling back into my office again after about three weeks away. I'm just sorting my accounts out and seeing what I've got to continue my little business. And when I have a look at the courts here, I'm just saying to her, why hasn't anybody chased me? I thought it was all going through. Anyway, I'm going to go and find it. Damn nuisance, because I've got plenty of things to do. I've got a lawyer to worry about today. Yeah, you know, go and make that do a dollar, go and see who I am and see who who's pinching all my money in my account. It's the courts. It's the birth certificate. That's what I told her on this video. I just said to her earlier, I only switched it on later, that you can hear her talking to me, but we missed out a lot of what I was saying, being upset about the court not having my records of where I live. And I've already given it. Something's not right in the system. That's why I said to her, I'm going to tip it upside down. The courts in this country are corrupted to hell. They don't know what the left foot is doing with the right foot. That's what I'm saying here with this girl on the line. Man, it needs a bloody bomb right through the whole lot. And start from scratch. Because I tell you, the whole system's really corrupt. And I'm looking online at America is just the worst terrorist corrupted country in the world in Israel. Both of those, USA and Israel. This is just one of them that's going that way as well, New Zealand. And it's Maori Iwi trustees. They're both the same. Whew. Anyway, that'll do for now. I'll get on with it. All right, uh, today it's Wednesday, the 21st of February 2018, and I'm not really feeling happy about this. I'm coming back from north and not feeling too well either. I'll just take my blood pressure. Hang on. Down here. To see how much it swung up to. It this morning was two hundred and fourteen when it blew off. And it read out at one seventy two over ninety seven over sixty one. Normally it's one forty seven over eighty five over sixty. It's not bad because it was thirty over on the Systolic, that's the blood pressure going from the heart and the blood pressure back to the heart. The diastolic was 12, that's my band, that's gone down. But let's see how it looks when I'm upset after a call to the Auckland District Court. Let's have a look to see what it's zinging at. <coughs> Here goes. <coughs> My, my pulse was one over on, on the first reading this morning. 227. Look at that. 227. It blew off at 214 this morning when I got up. So now we'll see the difference. That was at 8 o'clock. Oh, 7 a.m. This morning, the first reading, the second reading here is 184 over 116 over 78. You see, my blood <coughs> pulse went up <coughs> Let's see. Two. 42. <coughs> my doris, my systolic went over by 42. This morning was 30 over, as normal. Um, and 31 over on the diastolic, that's the blood going from the back to the um, heart. And
AD Nova on the Pulse. So the Pulse was racing with that girl online just a minute ago. Okay? So that's my normal without medication. <coughs> and it doesn't feel too good. It's not, we're not feeling too good. We're not getting upset. I didn't have to ring them. I didn't, I didn't have to ring them. I just rang them to see if my fines are being paid. So my money is going somewhere other than the court. And that's the part that gets me. She says, I'll give you one day to... Huh. They've had over three months <clears throat> from the last time I've told them, called them. That's bad. So there we go. 227, the machine blowed out. Because that's when it stopped. <coughs> 184 over 116 over 78. That's still too high. Uh, the normal is 142 over 85 over 60. It's 42 over, 31 and 18 over. Not good. Okay, get on with it. That's what I say. Don't go and brace for the medication. Just get on with it. Drink lots of water, be happy, and go for a walk. Okay, see you later. Bye.